it's uh, the first sports car that was developed by Triumph. Drive on a weekday, race on a weekend. It's a car that makes a driver out of you. My name is Eddie Salonga and I drive a Triumph TR2 1954. A uh, gentleman named uh, Mike Campos actually owned this car before I did. Guys, my generation, I'm an American muscle car guy. Didn't know anything about British sports cars or sports cars at that uh, point. And so here comes Mike who says, uh, nice car you got. And that car that he was admiring was a Plymouth Duster. And uh, he said, who did the work? Of course, the answer was, uh, we did the work in the shop right there. And uh, he said, boy, that's nice work. Do you accept uh, commercial work? And I said, no, it's really just a hobby. He says, because I have a couple of cars and I've had great difficulty enjoy you know finding a shop that would do a good job you know i can drop by where are your cars and he says you know it's really nearby it's in the hangar that's close to your place i said okay i'll drop by one day and i'll take a look at the car didn't realize that that was going to be the beginning of my introduction to manila sports car club didn't know that mike campos was uh, part of the manila sports car club didn't even know that Manila Sports Car Club existed. I enter his place and I see the Triumph. Ah, small car. <laughs> Not interested. I don't think it's fast. But since it's his car, not mine, all I wanted to do was pretty it up or to make, uh, as they say now, restore. So one day he says, uh, you're doing a great job on the car. And uh, I think I'd like to show it now to the Manila Sports Car Club. He says, can you bring it over? So here I was, so proud of my job. And I, I was swearing, I said, those guys are gonna love this. This is the best work ever. So I bring it there, and guess what? I learned my first lesson at Manila Sports Car Club. Those guys started picking on the car. Oh, nice paint job, but I don't think this is the right color for the car. Oh, nice wire wheels, but what year is your car? Um, I don't think it came out with chrome wire wheels. I was like, oh, da, 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 what's going down? And finally I realized, boy, these guys know their cars. Mike was relying on me to do a good job on his car. And he, in fact, he was paying me. And I didn't want, you know, to uh, let him down, right? So, and that got me going on, I need to research now. Here I was, from an American car guy, I started pouring my head over English cars. The guys were so friendly enough to uh, offer me some assistance on how to do it right. These guys don't really berate you, they just tell you what, what is right. And then you, if you humble yourself enough, you realize that these guys are there to help you, not to belittle you or even look down on you. It's just to help you out. And, and that's what I got. I got not only help, but really good mentoring on how to do this uh, interest that I have. So the car is really memorable for me, simply because Mike opened the door for me. MSCC or Manila Sports Car Club opened the uh, avenue for learning and now, as you can see, enjoyment is the uh, reward for this car. I did do some stint with this car uh, during the, uh, I think the second vintage or historic races of Manila Sports Car Club. But I guess the guy in me that wants to preserve cars, restores cars, at the end of the day, I said, oh, I can't bear 
<laughs> pushing this car. <laughs> eight laps. I mean, it's just eight laps, but it was killing me. Um, I wasn't probably built to abuse cars. <laughs> so after that particular year, I decided to put back the car again to its original condition. So that was the second restoration to the car and uh, happily kept it that way. And uh, I just joined the short runs and enjoy the car for what it is. Um, took it out early in the morning, drove around and um, really went on and enjoyed it. I got introduced into the club, but I actually developed a lot of friends, real friends that share the same idea, same enthusiasm. I like to always say that cars are just incidental. The friendship actually is the one that's really important. 